Hi students, welcome to today's session. Today we will be going to learn about B chromosomes. In the previous videos we were discussing about special types of chromosomes and we have gone through two types of them. They were Lambrush chromosomes and Polyteen chromosomes. Now today let us go into the details of B chromosomes. B chromosomes uh, they are not like the normal members of a chromosome complement. The normal members of a chromosome complement or the normal chromosomes are called as A chromosomes. But in some species, they, they possess some extra chromosomes which are not members of the normal chromosome complements. They are called as B chromosomes or supernumerary chromosomes. Another name for this type of chromosomes is accessory or extra chromosomes. These were first reported in maize and later were reported in several other species also. And these B chromosomes, this is a diagram showing B chromosomes here. Here you can see these are the darkly stained ones are the normal chromosomes and they are called as A chromosomes. They are equally segregated here and here you can see an extra chromosome. That extra chromosomes we call them as B chromosomes. And this B chromosomes they have been classified in two different ways. First is on the basis of their stability and another classification is based on their size. On the basis of this stability, they are classified as stable and unstable types. The stable uh, subcategory here, the B chromosomes is the group where Mito which are mitotically stable and all the cells of an individual have the same number of B chromosome. That is when a cell divides during a mitotic division a cell divides to form two daughter cells and it divides and gives both the daughter cells equal number of chromosomes. But in case of Stable chromosomes, these are mitotically stable, meaning the B chromosomes which are present in the parent cell will be distributed equally in the two daughter cells. If it happens in that way, then we call them as stable type. And the next type is unstable type, which is the exact opposite of the first one. Here, the B chromosomes of this group are mitotically unstable. That means, and they give rise to cells with different number of B chromosomes within the same individual. That is the cell, parent cell divides to form two daughter cells and the two of two daughter cells will be having different number of B chromosomes. So that type is called unstable. And next classification is on the basis of their size and on the basis of their size they can be divided as Standard type, small type, very small type and large type. The standard type is a predominant type. Here the length is usually one fourth of a normal A type chromosome and the B chromosome possesses median centromere here and will be mostly uniform thickness. And uh, the second type is small type this group consists of all accessory chromosomes with smaller size will the size will be somewhat smaller but not smaller than half of the standard b chromosome it will be smaller but will not be uh, smaller than half of the standard b type and the third type is very small type. Here they appear as small dot like structures and are smaller than the standard B chromosomes. And the last one is the 
large type here the chromosomes will be of double the size of norm, uh, standard type chromosomes and they are the also called as the large accessory chromosomes so these are the classifications and another point to say about this b chromosome is uh, the behavior of this B chromosome during the mitotic cell division differs from uh, one species to another and um, for example to say uh, in ray B chromosome occupy central position at metaphase while in case of maize they occupy peripheral position so in that way their uh, behavior will differ from species to species uh, and uh, they have been observed to behave in four different ways and we don't have to go into that much details here so here in this figure also you can see uh, these are the b chromosome this dot like dot like ones here you can see these are the b chromosomes so that is all about b chromosomes hope you all understood